So am I done with my career in real estate after the NAR lawsuit? I'm getting a lot of questions about it from clients, friends, and family. And I think it's important to really talk about what this means for the real estate market moving forward. I'm Emma Gaskins with Realty One Group Unlimited in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And here's my take on the situation. The lawsuit alleged that the NAR, the National Association of Realtors, real estate brokers and MLSs conspired to obligate a seller to pay a buyer's agent commission. What the settlement does is it acknowledges that the traditional brokerage model has to change. We all agree that there should be a free market conversation around compensation. Nothing changes for now. But around the country this summer, buyers and buyer's agents, if they elect to use one, and sellers and seller's agents, again, if they elect to use one, have to look at their seller or buyer agency agreements closely. Look, no one is obligated to use a licensed real estate agent in the United States, and you're not obligated to pay any specific percentage. The five, six, seven, in some areas, 10% fees are what the market has commanded for decades. It's kind of become a standard, but all these fees have always been negotiable on both sides, especially here in Pennsylvania. I am all for market transparency, and I think new business models are coming. I think there is new opportunity here, and I think that there's going to be a greater versatility on how you work with your agents. The past few years, regardless of this lawsuit, with all this new technology, AI, websites, Zillow, actual people buying and selling homes elected to use realtors more because it's complicated. Sometimes you just don't know where to start. Face it, we are in a tight, tight, tight market. By the time a consumer finds a home on Zillow or realtor.com, it's already pending or sold. So I think that you absolutely need a realtor in a tight market. Where houses are moving quickly, you need a realtor. If you're relocating to an area that you're unfamiliar with, you need a realtor. And if you're a first time home buyer and you don't know the risks that are associated, you don't know your rights, you don't know what you can or can't ask for, and you don't know your important timelines to stay in contract, you need a realtor. I personally believe realtors are paid in direct correlation with the value that they provide to their consumer or customers. And that's what you'll see moving forward. It remains to be seen how this is gonna shape out in the open marketplace though. These new rules aren't going to go into effect until sometime at least over this summer of 2024. When sellers decided to start this lawsuit, they probably thought, wow, we're, we're really gonna advocate for the sellers because the sellers were overpaying. I wonder though, did those same sellers turn around and buy property with an agent and pay their buyer's agent directly? Or did they let the seller's agent cooperate commission to pay their buyer's agent commissions? What makes me really sad is that there are gonna be buyers that leave the market altogether. Between competitiveness, between above ask offers, closing costs, title, settlement fees, earnest money, lender fees, down payments. Most first time home buyers are already squeezing every penny, let alone coming up with additional funds to pay for their buyer's agent. There are buyers that are going to lose representation over this altogether. And that's why I think buyer's agency was invented in the first place to ensure that buyers had representations so that there was somebody to advocate in their corner. With housing prices going up, inventory going down, interest rates super high, affordability is already at an all-time low. I'm wondering if anyone had thought this through as to who truly is going to win here. If we lose really great agents in this industry because of this, the consumer is going to be very disappointed on who is left over. It's important to know that discount brokerages have always existed for a very long time. But remember, you get what you pay for because bad service will ultimately cost you a lot more than you think. Those of us who know our value, well, we earn our commission on both sides of the transaction. This is your homegirl, Emma Gaskins, with Realty One Group Unlimited, signing off. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more real estate content. And I'll see you guys next time.